Switching gears, I want to turn to manufacturing policy, obviously a big, a big plank of new cores. And I kind of want to ask that last question, but just with regard to manufacturing policy. To what extent should the government provide economic assistance to corporations? Well, I don't know if it's economic assistance so much as it is these private-public partnerships that really look at emerging technologies that not only help companies across the United States, but help the government. You know, you look at some of the grant programs through the Department of Energy for emerging technologies, um, things that can be deployed at the nation's manufacturing facilities, and it really is those partnerships that have helped develop the latest and greatest technology, whether you're looking at energy production or new ways of making things. And so I think that partnership is very important, working in concert with each other to make sure that we're doing all we can to push those technologies forward. R&D is very important, and so has the discussion around jobs. Tell us about your understanding of the Jobs and Competitiveness Council set up earlier this year. What is its charter, and what do you think its impact will likely be? When President Obama announced in January the formation of this council, I think most people were hopeful that this would be a way to focus the country, the administration, and the Congress back on manufacturing, and its role really is the backbone of our economy. Uh, the President tapped Jeff Immelt, the CEO of GE, to lead this council. And it's been in existence for eight months. They've met twice. We've really seen no recommendations issued, no papers, no studies. And I think from that perspective, it's disappointing because you have some great thought leaders that comprise that council. And the hope was really to turn the focus back to manufacturing, which really is a true job creator but we just haven't seen that action come out of them yet. So no policy put forth by, the, by that group, no position papers is what you're saying? Not so. yet. Okay. Given the protracted debt ceiling discussions in an era where we all have to do more with less, how would you prioritize the issues, legislation, initiatives uh, most important to manufacturers here in America? Well, I would say we really need to be looking at a transportation bill. You, our funding for our highways expired and normally we reauthorize that legislation and that funding vehicle for six years at a time to bring some certainty to the marketplace for some long-term long -term planning for projects um, so states can prioritize their needs and figure out what it is that they need to do to address the issues that they're having with their roads, their railways, all those types of things. There has been such a divide in the Congress over funding for such a bill, levels of funding, whether or not it, that is something the federal government should be involved in, that it's not hopeful that we're going to get a robust transportation reauthorization bill through with meaningful funding. And I think that would really be a missed opportunity. When you invest in our nation's roads, railways, highways, you are putting people back to work. You are creating demand for product that is produced here in the United States. You are ensuring our goods can get to market. You know, we have a crumbling infrastructure. We have crumbling bridges. Our ports need to be dredged. These are serious issues, not only, you know, for, for commuters going to work, but so that we can move our goods across this country.